being in a job and being a bean counter is having a job where the work you do isn't considered highly esteemed in the environment you're in. People don't really value it or respect it in a real serious way. Crowdfunding pivot to a VOD, a video on demand transaction where people pay for the purchase of the content. However, they weren't paying for a full season. They were paying for finale episodes. Until you immerse yourself in the marketplace, kind of independent of whatever corporate structure that represents you, because that adds a kind of a, a false uh, sense of like identity and a false sense of worth. But when you insert yourself into a business environment, independent of all of that stuff, and all you have to operate from is your training, your instincts, your, your innate ability, you quickly identify what you're good at and what you're not. And people quickly identify that too. With all these new tech startups and mobile apps flooding the market, like what is the venture capital market like right now for tech entrepreneurs? Like, as you look at different potential buyers, networks that may not have a large original programming slate, mm -hmm. take a look at some of the library titles to get a sense as to the direction they're going in programming wise mm -hmm. and use that as a, as a, as a guide or as a, as indicator right. of how your programming may fit. I'm licking my wounds obviously, but at the same time I'm putting my hand to the plow because and it, usually it's not because I'm like, I'm this great person, but it's like, I have needs. And so I don't take it personal. I come back around and look at it like, this is where this person is kind of broken and kind of dis disconnected. Let me figure out a way to deal with them so that that doesn't happen again. And if I and if the opportunity presents itself, let me check them on it, but in a, in a, in a more civilized, thoughtful way. You focus on the passion and focus on serving the need and, and whatever it is. In this case, it was an audience, an underserved audience. Mm -hmm. And they, they're trying to kind of steer you in the right direction, but they're filtering their advice through their experience. And, that, and most of the time, it's probably through a failed experience. So they don't really have the confidence in themselves. So they can't really have confidence that you can do things. And they'll give you really bad advice. 